<laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the K-pop hack and today we're going to be doing a storing photo cards video but also kind of a mini update on my collection and how my collection is going to look going forward. So we have the miscellaneous binder first and honestly we can just jump all the way to the back. Nothing in these front sections have changed with NB. I have decided for her solo releases going forward, I'm only going to keep three photo cards. So Umbi's photo cards are quite hard to get. Um, you only get one photo card per version of the album you buy. She did change that with Lethality, and you got essentially nine between all three versions, but she's going back to that with her new single album. And since I'll never have all of her photo cards, I have decided that this is the best decision for me personally. So I will be pre-ordering her album. I'll probably order three copies because Umbi cards are kind of notorious for being difficult to get. Like they're really hard to find online anywhere. So I'll probably just buy three copies and hope that I don't pull the same three photo cards. But we will see. And then for Purple Kiss, I do have my Swan cards. I did end up buying two pre-order benefits um, because again, her photo cards have been kind of difficult to find. Um, I've not really seen anybody selling them, and the ones that they are selling, I already have. So these are my album card pulls. And then if I do ever find the last one, the fifth one, then I will change the six pattern into a seven pattern. Oop! Oh goodness, okay. Um, I'm still getting used to this new tripod. It's like connected to my desk and I keep bumping into it. But then I did find somebody selling two of her Bizint Pops. So I did buy these just to kind of fill out the page. And we'll do them like that because she's wearing the same outfit in these two. Um, but my plan going forward with Purple Kiss is to continue collecting Gones album cards. Um, and But then I will also be trying to collect the member solos. If they continue releasing member solos and subunits. Um, but Swan is my second favorite member of the group. So I did really want to get hers. And then you might notice that La Seraphim is missing. Um, I decided to sell my Yunjin collection, Yunjin collection. Um, I don't collect La Seraphim's albums and their photo cards are really difficult to get and tend to be really expensive. Um, and I'm trying to prioritize the groups that I collect their albums for, um, when it comes to collecting. So I did decide to drop my cards. Um, so this will now be my Artemis section. I just haven't created a front page yet because we don't really have, I will be keeping my pools for Artemis, kind of collecting them the way I do Girls' Generation. For any subunit or solo release, I'll be keeping my pools. But for any release that has Hustle, I'll be collecting all of her photo cards. So once we get either an official logo or maybe we get um, a full OT5 shot, then I'll make a cover page for them. But I will be putting my Odd Eye Circle pools in. And I'm just going to put them in number order. That's probably going to be my plan for how I store Artemis. Because all the card backs are the same, even though they were only available in like specific versions. And I am secretly hoping that I continue my Jin Soul look because she is one of my top three in Luna. But then that is all for this binder. Um, and we can move on to the Dreamcatcher binder, a non-album. So I had 
decided for Apocalypse from Us, the Bon Voyage comeback, that I was gonna collect Xi'an and Dami. And I bought all the Dami album cards. I had them all stored, everything was great. And I had bought a non-album Dami card and then decided that I wasn't gonna collect Dami anymore. And it was literally, I decided I wasn't gonna collect Dami like minutes after I purchased this card on eBay, but it was too late and I couldn't cancel it. So I have one of her lucky draws from their uh, Broken Halloween pop-up store from their Halloween concert. And I also made the very bad financial decision to buy one of all the other members lucky draw cards. So I'll have a full OT7 set um, when they arrive, but I realized that I was, with this purchase, I had bro I've broken my rules of not buying non-album um, individual cards for Dreamcatcher, which I really did love those cards and I'm glad I bought them. I don't regret it. It was just a really bad financial move. So it really got me thinking about my collection and I don't want to completely get rid of my collection, but I do want to downsize and try to kind of curb my spending habits. So I've decided that I'm going to prioritize my Dreamcatcher collection and my Dreamcatcher photo cards. So I'll still be collecting all of Xion's album photo cards and buying all of Dreamcatcher's merchandise releases that they do. I'm not going to start getting into non-album for Dreamcatcher unless it comes in a merchandise bundle. So no random photo cards, anything like that. Um, but for the rest of my photo card collections, I do plan to continue them the way I've been going um, with the updates I shared earlier, like with Umbi only doing three cards per album. But then for new groups, um, so I have recently purchased 5050's debut album and their Cupid album, and they're on the way to me from a Mercari seller. They do come with photo cards, but I'm not going to be keeping those photo cards. I'm going to be selling them because I love my album collection and the music is what's most important to me. So I wanted to get back into buying groups albums that I love their music, but I don't want to get tempted to keep the photo cards. So you'll probably see a lot more unboxings on my channel, but also a lot more photo cards going up for sale on my Macari because I used to not collect photo cards. I thought they were a waste of time and energy and money. And then I started collecting photo cards. <laughs> so I wanna get back to having that money to spend on albums and the music and buying discographies that are really special to me, discographies that I love. So. I have, I'm going to kind of shift my focus in general away from photo cards and back onto album collecting. Um, and then, like I said, just priority, prioritizing the groups that I already collect for. Um, so I've got the 5050 albums coming. I'll have Envy's new single album coming. I have plans to buy Kiss of Life's debut album. I think there was only one version. Um, I would like to complete some of my inactive and disbanded girl groups, um, discographies that I've started. There are some other ones that I would really like to start, like Fiesta or Stellar. Um, but yeah, I'd kind of like to shift my focus more onto album collecting than photo card collecting. But the groups that you know me for, Girls' Generation, Luna, Artemis, Dreamcatcher, Purple Kiss, um, MB, they'll all still be here. There'll just be a lot of new album content as well. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry this was a primarily talking video and maybe kind of rambly. I didn't really plan out what I was going to say. But the dogs are barking and that means it's time to end this video. But I will see you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.